In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a crochet hook to pick up and knit stitches along a vertical edge. You'll often be instructed to pick up and knit stitches along an edge like this when working um, from button bands or around an armhole opening for sleeves. The first thing you wanna do is make sure to use a crochet hook that uh, corresponds with your yarn size or smaller. For example, you wouldn't wanna use a big hook if you're working with a fingering or sport weight yarn. In my little demo here, um, this is chunky weight yarn. This is Barocco's Ultra Wool Chunky, and I'm using a size F crochet hook. You could probably go a little bit bigger than this if you wanted to, but I usually like to go a bit smaller. So I'm gonna start on this end over here, and when I pick up along a vertical edge like this, whether it's with a knitting needle or a crochet hook, I always go one stitch in from the edge and I look for the V shape. So let me show you, I'm gonna just kind of unroll this a little bit. So I don't go in to this very edge here. I go one column in. So I'm gonna be picking up these Vs that you see here. And I like to look at them as Vs. It just makes it easier to, um, to pick up into. So the first thing, let's start on this end here. You're going to insert your crochet hook into that first V and then into both legs of it. So here's the first one. And you should have that first stitch can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Okay, so the crochet hook is in both legs of the first V. Then I'm gonna take the yarn that I'm gonna use to knit with, and I'm using a contrasting color here so it's easy for you to see. And I'm going to wrap it over the top of the crochet hook, just like this. And then I'm gonna pull it through. So make sure that the yarn kind of goes under the hook. And then you're just going to pull it through. Like that. Then I'm gonna go into the very next V. So insert the crochet hook into the next V, into both legs, just like that. Wrap the yarn, and then using that hook of the crochet needle, just pull it through. There we go. So I've picked up and knit two stitches. Now in this example, I'm gonna show you what it's like to pick up and knit three stitches for every four rows, because that's a common instruction that you're gonna see. So I've just done two, so I'm gonna do the next one, because that would be three in a row. So just go into that next V, one thing I also want to point out, see how I'm utilizing my left hand here to kind of line up that column of ease, and that just helps to guide me. So then I'll just wrap it around the crochet hook and then pull it through. Okay, so we've just done three in a row. And when it says to pick up and knit three stitches for every four rows, it just means that you're gonna pick up three in a row, then skip the next. So instead of going into, this next V right here, I'm gonna skip it and go into the one right next to it. So insert it, then wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through, just like that. Sometimes it's easier to pick up a knit with a crochet hook like this than it is with a knitting needle. So what you would do at this point is you, can, you could pick up a bunch more if you'd like, but just to be able to show you, to get them onto the needle, just slide them to the other end of the crochet hook. And then I just insert my knitting needle, almost like pearl-wise, into that stitch there and just slide them onto the needle, just like that. And you could have a lot more in your crochet hook before you do that, but I just wanted to be able to show you. And then if I wanted to continue, I would just keep doing what I was doing before. So insert my crochet hook, into the next V, just like that. And then I would take my yarn, wrap it around the crochet hook, and 
pull it through. So that is how you can pick up and knit stitches using a crochet hook.